Well, Theresa May did say that, and I think behind the scenes she would have been pretty angry because she and her predecessor, David Cameron, are used to what's known here at conference as B-Day, the day when Boris Johnson swoops in, messes up the entire carefully choreographed schedule, and then drops a bombshell and leaves. And once again, Boris Johnson has done that, but this time it was even worse. Before he even came to this conference, he'd done a number of interviews calling for checkers to be chucked, saying that they needed to follow a super Canada deal and even build a bridge to Ireland. Then he even staged a photo shoot, seemingly mocking Theresa May. He was running through a field of wheat, something she said in an interview was the uh, naughtiest thing she did as a young person. And then he came here and there was a media scrum around him as he came in the hall. Some around uh, a couple of hundred people had been queuing for about two hours just to get in to see him. And when he did take to the stand, he gave a wide ranging speech calling for checkers to be chucked. He said it was uh, intellectual humiliation with some of the language that he used. He also talked about housing tax reform and Margaret Thatcher, all the things that you need to talk about here at Conservative Conference if you are going to make a bid for the leadership. And Theresa May says that she didn't watch. There were plenty of people who did, but she was angered by what she heard in reports. Two things that Boris said that I am cross about. Uh, he wanted to tear up our guarantee to the people of Northern Ireland. Northern Ireland is part of the United Kingdom. You know, we are all, he and I, all members here are members of the Conservative and Unionist Party. That's because we believe of the, in the Union of the United Kingdom. Northern Ireland is part of that union. Boris Johnson is very much now in open manoeuvres to try to replace Theresa May. And he can do that if her Chequers Brexit plan is voted down in Parliament. That would lead to a crisis for the government. And judging by the numbers of MPs that were in that hall yesterday to see his speech, some very senior ones like Ian Duncan Smith and the former uh, uh, Development Secretary Priti Patel, it would seem like there is enough votes there for her to be voted down. And then there would be a leadership challenge. And Boris Johnson now is very openly saying that he wants to try to replace the prime minister. Well, Theresa May is going to give a speech uh, later, closing the conference. She's obviously got her work cut out for her. What can we expect from that speech? Well, Theresa May does, because not only Boris Johnson, but other members of the cabinet have really been auditioning to be the next leader of the Conservative Party this week. So she has to give the speech of her political life. She needs to get the party behind her Chequers Brexit plans because she thought she'd be able to come here and say, well, the EU at Salzburg has approved my plans. These are the only ones that work for the sake of the country. You've got to vote them through. She doesn't have that security now. She has to try to convince the party to get behind her. So I think she'll be raising the spectre of Jeremy Corbyn and what she'll describe as his hardline left-wing plans for the economy, but really it's going to be about the performance because last year we all remember the disastrous speech in which her voice failed her, the Chancellor had to hand up cough sweets, the stage started falling down behind her, and a comedian even got up to her and handed her a fake redundancy notice which he claimed was from Boris Johnson. That clip went around the world. It was mocked in comedy shows over in the United States and it got into news broadcasts as far as Australia. So she needs today to put in a solid performance, but really to get people behind her in a way that she hasn't done before. Because if she doesn't today, then Boris Johnson may well be handing her a redundancy notice. And this time next year, he could be coming to this conference as the leader of the Conservative Party and as Prime Minister.